Oh my god, oh my god, Flow Tracks here. Mom, I made it. Yeah, we want this to be a pace that you could just do all day. Yeah, it looks good, guys, looks good. I feel like a lot of teams have these goals, but ours is for sure make nationals. For sure, we want to go to nationals. I would like to be a part of that team. Mama, I made it. Mama, rags to itches. Hey guys, can uh, let's get you guys kind of circling in just a little bit. So first workout on the canal, this is also a workout where we want to be really patient. We have a workout on Friday, so if you do this workout at like 5K race pace for 10 by kilo, you're not going to be recovered on, on Friday. And that's also not the goal. So I think the paces that are on paper are pretty reasonable estimates for you guys. We checked in yesterday with people and it seemed good. If you feel really good, you can open up a little bit in the second half, but we don't want to do anything crazy today. We want to get a good workout in, um, and we want to string a lot of just really solid workouts back to back to back um, for the next three months. But let's, uh, let's get warming up, guys. My name is Sean Smith, uh, first year head coach at CBU, um, about five weeks into the job. The workout today is going to be a bunch of kilometer repeats. So we're doing 10 by 10 to 12 by 1K um, with 90 seconds recovery. Kind of depends on who they are, and we're trying to start off a little bit patient um, and, and build into uh, build into a rhythm as we go. I'm looking for 10K, 8K race rhythm, um, and so more of like an anaerobic uh, threshold workout is what we call it today. Adam, we got to take out the trash. We got to take out the trash today. It's the road that leads to the canal. So the canal is just like I think it's like four to four to five miles out, just all all beautiful dirt, kind of runs along some water. And then Monroe goes right out from the track and you, you head down and in two miles you're on soft surface. And then the tricky thing is gonna be getting the wheel and the cones out to the 1K marker before the workout starts so that we actually have it marked off. And those are things that like in the future, you know, that'll be out there and we're not gonna be worried about that, you know, on the morning of a workout. But yeah, for the most part, everything's a little bit new. Mama made it. Mama made it. Mom look like a fly. Let's get like like Mama lo hizo. That's very key. Some of the benefits of having international athletes on the team are that they're really fast. Some of the downsides are that they're racing all summer, you know, at the European Championships and and all sorts of things. So when they get here for fall they're in week like two or three of training or some of them their first week of training was our our big bear team camp and so you know so we really got to ease them into it I think we're, we're good to park here well we'll have to see if our, if our cars get towed um, we're walking back sweet yeah all right we'll let them know hey there's a cone at 400 um, and then there's and then go all the way to the next cone and that's you know, that's 1K. Okay. And we'll be out, they'll kind of know where it's at too, because they'll be approaching three minutes for the guys or like 3.30, 3.40 for the ladies. Okay. So. All right, sounds and then good. You might have to, and then you might have to book it back you after you <laughs> get there, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, here we go, coach. So it's 1K there, 90 seconds recovery, 1K back, 90, and, and so on. 90 seconds recovery on everything, and we want to build into the pace. We're gonna start the guys, and originally we're gonna start the guys in one group, and then I'll probably split it into, into two after that. All right, fellas, you ready? All right, okay, go. Yeah, smooth, smooth, smooth. Yeah, yeah, we want this to be a pace that you could just do all day. Yeah. Yeah, you know the the goal, even though it's going to be at 8K, 10K race pace for this workout, the goal is not necessarily to get in really good race pace. The goal is to target a physiological system and have them just be smoother and smoother at that system. And so we're, you know, we're hoping for like anaerobic threshold where um, we're like a type two muscle fiber that's more transitional can be a little more active um, so that they can bounce back and forth between fast switch and slow twitch. For the men, it, it really helps because it is a race pace. Um, and so they do get that in their legs a little bit. But for the most part, we're looking for pack running. We want them to be strong and cohesive when they're out there. And, and if you can do it in a workout, um, you can you can do it in a race a little bit easier. So I'm hoping that you know we don't see things spread out too much. I'm hoping that it can teach them patience. 10 to 12 by K is a big workout, 
and an 8K to 10K race um, is a long, long race. And so if they're not patient in the race, um, things will fall apart. So we're trying to teach a little bit of the patience and, and build up their mental fortitude with this workout as well. Perfect. 305, 306, 307. Nice. Nice. Okay, so my name's uh, Daniel Abdallah and I run for Cal Baptist University. Three, two, one. Yeah, so uh, right now as a team, I believe that we're in a good spot. A lot of us are coming back from little, like small little setbacks. We had a uh, half our team open up just last weekend, really good results. So, so far it's promising. And today we're just, uh, we're just trying to get a good session in and look forward to the end of the season. 258, 259, three flat, 301, 302. Nice, 303, 304, money, money, money. Yeah, it's a pretty important day. Any time we're going after 12, 12 kilometers of, of work, um, it's it's pretty key. I will say um, we do we do a little bit of the double threshold um, workouts as a group, and so um, which is new for this team. And so 12 by K is a big session in one session, but it's not massive in terms of what what the team or what some of those top guys are used to on a given day. We did I think 13 or 14 miles um, of work. Um, last week, and so we'll have we'll have some bigger volume days. But in terms of in one session, 12 by K um, is is uh, is a pretty important one. 257, 58, maybe 257. All right, here we go. Yep. K, go, and then careful group. Stay right. Stay right. What makes Cal Baptist a little different but special in a way? Obviously, bring all different cultures. Yeah, I think that's what Cal Baptist is special for. Like. Just different guys from different areas, different girls from different areas. Like uh, we have a big South American population, and we've been Hispanic. That's I mean that's almost at home, you know. So I feel like that's that's what makes it special. We got a good group of uh, even the Americans that are here too. Like we're we're all just indulging everyone's culture, and it's just it's it's a special place to be. There's language barriers here and there, but at the same time, like we could go out for a run. We'll help each other with English or Spanish, translate. So I just think I mean just putting on shoes and going for a run just brings everyone together, which is. It's beautiful, you know, it's kind of cliche to say, but no, nah, it's, it's, it's cool, it's really cool. 257, 258, 59. I am Massimiliano Berti, I'm from Italy and I'm a senior at CBU. I came to CBU in the first place because I wanted to focus a lot on running and I was thinking that here I might have all that I needed to succeed in it. I found a good team, good coach, I could focus on my goals here. Yo, looks good guys, looks good. Yeah, nice and controlled, nice and controlled. Number five here, number five. 255, 256, 57, 256, 257. Nice, nice. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, okay, go. Just smooth. What's been the experience so far being a part of this good program? It's been with a lot of hypes, hikes and lows, but at the same time, like, I enjoy it a lot. It's been for sure an incredible experience coming from a different country. You have to get here, get used to you know, a new language, like get to know uh, new people because you are here by yourself. And so it gives you a lot, both on the running aspect, but also on the personal life. It's, uh, we're halfway through. 254, 55, 56, 57. Nice, 57. My goal is for, is contributing for this incredible team. I love my teammates and I feel like we have a really good depth this year. Okay, go. For sure we want to go to Nationals. I would like to be a part of that team and contribute on getting a good result for the team. 253, 54, 55. About 255, maybe 257 in the back. Nice guys. It looks smooth, it looks easy. I feel like a lot of teams have these goals, but ours is for sure make nationals. I mean, okay, we have a interesting scenario this track season. A lot of people came in, a lot of people came back. Initially, we're in the portal, but um, goal is top 10 at nationals. I know a lot of the rankings kind of left us out, but that's okay. But I mean, we're not sweating that. We just we just thought it was really funny. I mean, go win regionals, get the easy uh, auto queue for nationals. And I think on a great day, I think we can finish pretty high. 254, 255, 56, 57, 58, 59, flat. You're like, this is nothing compared to Morocco. <laughs> like in Morocco, dude, this is cold. Notice that I'm, I'm gonna try to keep this hoodie on the whole workout. Okay. Coach doesn't want to see it. Wants to see your six pack. All right. All right, coach. What's that? You don't want to see your six pack? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm hiding. Uh, dude, you don't, you don't even know. He's got pick them up. He's waiting, he's waiting, uh, he's waiting for pre-nine. Hiding a dad bod with no kids. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey, smooth on it. Smooth on it. 
Yeah, we're two thirds through, two thirds through. Uh, I try to get some confidence, but at the same time, like feeling good. And I try to keep in mind also that it's not a race. So obviously I want to put good effort here, but I will have to put the biggest effort in the list where it matters. 253, 254, 55. All good, all good. All right. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. No, no, yeah, you guys got, yeah, yeah. We'll give it a little more. Zoo, zoo hair, zoo hair. It's gone. Okay, here we go, guys. All right, okay, go. We gotta, working through a language barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're on 10 right now, right? Yes, yes, okay. yeah. So it'll split. I think, um, I think about half of them will stop. Yeah. Um, like zoo hair, I would, if yeah. I'd have been able to kind of be like, hey, zoo hair, just extra few seconds recovery, start with the, start with the group, you know, and just go a little more controlled. Because he was like 61 through the 400. Because I told them, I was like, okay, after eight on the last four, you kind of open up a little bit. And I think he took that real literal. He was like, all right, open up, got it. Took off like 61 through the 400. Um, but like, I think he's probably 63 just now. Yeah. He started like three seconds before them. 67, 68. Yeah, good guys, good. Plenty fast, plenty fast, yeah. Yeah, if we're running this for a 8K, 10K cross, we're all, we're in a good boat. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, 250 guys, 250. Do you want a couple extra seconds to recover and then go with the group? Yes. Would that be okay? Okay. You look great, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it nice and smooth. Uh, real even from 400 to 800, right? Real even. Yeah. Smooth. All right, okay, <laughs> go. I feel like in a workout like today, where you have to run a lot of reps, consistency is like to feel good rep after rep, just staying there, staying focused, and but at the same time like relaxed and feeling great while running and enjoying it as well. I mean, I think the, the best way we're progressing to like the heavy volume and all the mileage we're stacking up is uh, just uplifting each other. So even if we feel a little tired, like one of the guys was like, oh, I don't feel too good today. I'm like, dude, right? we got each other, like there's no sweating. So I mean, I guess just the team atmosphere is what, is what carries us through even if we're a little uh, tied in the legs. Beautiful mustache, by the way. Fantastic, yeah. I don't know, running a buck just make everything easier. Like, you have to trust a little bit yourself as well, because maybe the guys in front can mess up the pace a little bit. But if you can just go with the pace and then like just focus on running behind your teammates, that just makes it easier. You can focus on your form and feeling great. I mean, it feels smooth, man. I mean, all of us just, being with this team, we have 16 guys, but 12 of us are like within a blanket. So top guy finishes or the first one who finishes and then like no more than two seconds later, like the last guy's finishing. So it felt good. I'm sure everyone will, will say it's good. It's just, it's a little hot. I feel like it's not important. Obviously it's important day by day what we do today, but it's also important what we do in our rest days and what we do between one training and another one to recover and to be prepared for uh, the next one, so everything stacks up, and then at the end of the day, we'll see uh, all the results. That felt great. That was crazy. Yeah. It's a crazy workout. Yeah. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Good workout, dude. Adam, twelve of those. Yeah, today's today's workout was a good one. Um, I thought, I think the nice thing is when you have twelve by K, you're worried people are going to overdo it. But the group ran a really mature workout. They were packed up the whole time, and there's a variety of like skills on the team. I mean, we have thirteen thirty guys, seven forty three guys, like, um, and then we have some fourteen twenty guys that were in that group, and they all kind of meshed really well. But overall, workout was really good. We got in twelve thousand meters for. Uh, most of them at a at a pretty uh, pretty good tempo, but not overdone. Like they're they're chatting after their energy is high, versus sometimes you're you know workouts been overdone when you're peeling them off the the trail. Um, but they yeah they look good, so I was really happy.